This video tutorial shows you how to deal with short-term deviations from your standard capacity settings and capacity availability when working with Microsoft Dynamics NAV. Let's look at production order 101009. Here it is shown not in a tabular form, as you might expect it from Dynamics NAV, but as part of a Gantt chart provided by the Dynamics NAV add-in called Visual Production Scheduler. The production order has four operations. It starts in the assembly department, continues at Brian Walton, followed by Linda Mitchell and to be concluded by Mike Siemens. Both on the bar and in the background of the chart you can see that the visual production scheduler takes into account both working time and non-working time, with non-working time being grey in the background and being white on the bar. Let's look at the operation that had been allocated to Linda Mitchell. It starts midday on the 2nd of February and finishes in the afternoon of the 4th of February. So, how to deal with the situation that, for whichever reason, Linda Mitchell is absent a few hours at the 3rd of February. First, remember that the Visual Production Scheduler is a visual front-end to standard NAV functionality. And actually, the standard NAV functionality is very powerful and typically answers questions like these. The first step to take is to register absence at the respective work or machine center for the respective date and time. As the visual production scheduler is fully integrated into Dynamics NAV, there are many shortcuts from the Gantt chart to standard NAV functionality. In our case, just double click on the machine center in this case Linda Mitchell, to open the Machine Center card. Now click Register Absence and type in the respective date and time. It is then important that you click Update before you actually close the page. With registering Absence you change the capacity table for that Machine Center in the NAV database. Hence. As second step, you want to automatically replan the affected production order accordingly using standard NAV planning functionality. Again, there is a close link between the visual production scheduler and the required NAV dialog. Double click the production order and the production order card opens. Now click Refresh production order. As you want to see the impact of this absence for the subsequent operations and leave the previous operations unchanged, you need to select Scheduling Directions forward. Then click OK and confirm. Now, as third and final step, you need to refresh the visual production scheduler to push the changes made into the visual front end. Now you see the additional non-working time at the 3rd of February from the grey area in the background. Also, you notice that due to the longer non-working time, Operation 30 has a longer bar in the Gantt chart, which means that it takes longer to complete. You also see that the following operations have been pushed out and now longer finishes on the 5th of February as it did before we registered the absence to Linda Mitchell. Of course, now the changed capacity available for Machine Center Linda Mitchell gets taken into account when moving other production orders or operations. So this tutorial showed you how the Visual Production Scheduler works hand-in-hand -hand with standard NLE functionality to handle short-term deviations from your capacity settings.